Hi, I'm Mel Hartman, and today we're going to talk about reclaiming your power when you're feeling trapped. The Eight of Swords is a card that's not all that it appears to be. So in it, you see the figure of a woman, and she's tied up, blindfolded, with swords sticking into the ground around her like she's in some sort of cage. She looks completely trapped and powerless in her situation. However, the card is actually a sign that you have more options than you think you do and that the feeling of being powerless is more in your mind than it is actually in reality. There are pathways out and you have to choose to kind of remove the blindfold and wiggle loose of the bonds that are holding you in order to kind of realize that you have more options available to you than you might think. When you're feeling trapped, often it's because either you believe that the other option, like being outside of where you're feeling trapped, is going to be more painful than actually just staying where you are, or you feel like you don't deserve to have what's on the other side. This card reminds me of a time where I felt particularly trapped in my life. Every time I see it, I remember the limiting beliefs that were holding me back into thinking that I had no path forward and that I had to stay where I was. In my situation, I was in a very unhealthy marriage. I felt that there was no way out. I could not leave. I was told as much multiple times and it just seemed like as painful as it was to stay, I had no choice. I had no choice in the matter. And I remember the exact moment when my belief shifted. I was sitting in my car, uh, waiting to pick up my kids from school. And in my mind, the question shifted from what if I left to what if I stayed? And just the idea that it could be a choice and that there might be a hope outside of it kind of shook me at my core. And then I started to think if I stayed, everything would remain the same, things could get worse. And if I left, yeah, it might be as bad as they claimed it would be for me, but what if it wasn't? What if they were wrong? What if I was wrong? What if outside of myself and within myself, there was actually more positivity and power than I could see at my current state? And so this for me was the little seed, the seed of hope that was planted in like an instant. And it just opened up my eyes to the possibilities. It was one of the hardest things, actually the hardest thing I've ever done in my life but it was also the best thing I have ever done for myself. When you see this card and today in your day, think about areas in your life where you might feel trapped and just have the courage to kind of lower that blindfold and say, what if? What if this wasn't the only option? If there was another option, what would it look like? If there was a belief that was holding me here, if I was kind of trapping myself, what would it be in my mind? What was that? What would it be called, that trap? What am I saying to myself to make myself believe that this is true and that this is my only option? You absolutely need to be honest with yourself if you're trying to find your limiting belief. You have to not judge yourself and recognize that when you're looking for this, like you're literally digging around in your shadow self and it's not going to be comfortable and you're going to feel a lot of possibly even like disgust with your own behavior because you've been doing things that are clearly making you feel bad. So you're literally going and you're kind of facing those demons. It's not going to be a comfortable thing. So an important distinction to make here is that there are kind of two things that are trapping you when you're feeling powerless and trapped. There's the situation that could actually be trapping you from the outside that you may feel powerless to control. And then there's your internal beliefs. Now, you could tackle the situation, but usually it's better to start with your beliefs because then you are in a better place to um, move on to whatever circumstances need to change afterwards. So for example, you feel trapped in a job. You're not happy there anymore. You don't like the grind of working 12 hour days. It's just, it's, it's eating you up inside and you want to try something else. Now, before you go and jump ship and decide that you're going to be I don't know, some sort of like clown and do children's birthday parties. So instead of quitting your, your job and like going to clown school full time, um, think about changing your beliefs first. And the way you would do that in that situation is think, what is it about my job that is making me feel trapped? Is it the people around me? Is it the like maybe the commute? Is it the, the industry that I'm in that I'm no longer resonating with? Where is it that you're feeling this friction? And that's going to give you a better idea of the opposite side. So if you understand where 
you're not fitting properly, where it's, it's uncomfortable, you can understand that the flip side of that is where you want to be. And so by first looking at your beliefs, and then you can see exactly where in the circumstance you need to make changes. And so maybe it actually ends up being that you are in the right place, but that you just need a little bit more fun in your life. And so maybe that translates to going to clown school in the evenings or doing birthday parties on the weekends for kids. So there might be a way of incorporating the, um, the thing that you're feeling drawn to into your life without the huge risk of kind of throwing the baby away with the bathwater. Because if you don't tackle that initial uh, limiting belief, you could end up doing your clown school full time and then feeling trapped in that because now you don't have the finances necessary to keep up that lifestyle. So you're just kind of trading one trap for another. Now, there are some of you out there who are really in shitty circumstances where you were either born into a situation or you have physical ailments or things are happening to you that are beyond horrific and you can't see any way out of it because maybe maybe there isn't any obvious way out. Maybe you're dealing with something where there is no cure. Maybe you're dealing with, uh, with, with a government that's persecuting you to a degree that you are completely unsafe and that's your trap. I'm not trying to minimize those situations. I'm not trying to say that if you just believe that it can be true, then it'll, you know, magically go away. This is not at all my point of view. What I'm saying is if you're trapped and you're 100% committed to being trapped, it's a different thing than if you're 99% trapped and you have this 1% of you that's like hopeful in that maybe there's a possibility that the circumstances could change. Some sort of miracle, some sort of situation that could happen where you could have hope. So you don't have to have the hope now, but you should at least have enough self-doubt in the trap that the possibility of hoping one day doesn't seem so far-fetched. If you're feeling trapped in any area of your life, the next thing you need to do is to ask yourself, what is it you need to believe is true to be feeling trapped? Now, this is gonna take some self-reflection. You may wanna consider looking at tarot cards or doing whatever else it is, maybe journaling that makes you kind of get in touch with your own self and really be honest with yourself here. You'll know when you hit upon your limiting belief because it feels like a punch in the gut. It could be a sense of utter disgust with the belief once you identify it, which is great because it'll help you to change it more easily, or it could be uh, a feeling of like, oh, that's it, okay. Now I like feel emotionally empowered to kind of go on to the next thing and to correct this. What I've come to learn is that the feeling of powerlessness is really the fear of power. And it's not the fear of power from the outside, but the fear of your own internal power. When you're feeling powerless, it's like the power that's bubbling within you, ready to burst through you, and the power that you would need to act on the thing that is keeping you trapped is so strong within you that you identify it as powerlessness when it's really just a fear of actually utilizing that power and allowing it to manifest for you. I hope these ideas have been helpful to you and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. It was a bit of a heavy one today.